Hi Sagittarius. This is your mid-month January 2022 reading. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Sagittarius for mid-month January 2022 in love. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Sagittarius for mid-month January 2022 in love universal energies show me what i need to see for the star sign of sagittarius for mid-month january 2022 in love show me you guys subscribe like comment and share these videos if this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. <laughs> I do not read reversals. So, Sag. Sag, this is the mutual point of interest between you and your partner. Maybe you mention it to your partner and it's on both you guys' minds. Maybe your partner mentioned it to you and it's on both you guys' minds. Or some external source has both you and your partner feeling this way, thinking this way, or wanting to take this action. This is the mutual point of interest between you. Sag, this is you. This is your partner. So, Sag, I want to say that no matter where these cards fall, it can be vice versa or someone in you guys' environment. For mid-month, January 2022, the mutual point of interest between you and your partner, Sag, is the Ace of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag, this is a brand new, passionate, creative endeavor. Now, this can be the spark of a new idea. This can be some type of passionate communication really passionate romantic communication this could also be someone initiating something or starting a passionate new beginning so sag listen someone may have the spark of a new idea someone may be initiating something here this can be passionate communication romantic passion or a heated discussion or argument or someone is starting a passionate new beginning clarify the ace of wands for sagittarius and their partner Clarify the Ace of Wands for Sagittarius and their partner. Clarify the Ace of Wands for Sagittarius and their partner. It is clarified with the Three of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag, this is you waiting, waiting for your ships to come in, waiting for what you set your intentions towards to manifest. Now, this is also a card of you looking to see what else is out there, looking to expand. So, Sag, listen, you know, your well you or your partner may be waiting to send out passionate communication waiting to initiate something here or someone is saying that they're looking to see what else is out there looking to expand wanting to start a passionate new beginning we'll see sag you have the page of want really page of pentacles you have the three of swords you have the chariots your partner has the magician, your partner has the fool, and your partner has you, Sag, temperance. So, Sag, the mutual point of interest in what's on both you guys' minds is it very well could be either you or your partner waiting to initiate something here, maybe waiting for a passionate communication or waiting to start a passionate new beginning. However, someone here could be looking to see what else is out there, looking to expand and maybe wanting to start a passionate new beginning elsewhere. Sag, you have the page of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is news or a message about a solid, stable, committed offer. Now, this can be the news about an offer for an invite out for dinner and a movie. This can be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus, a high ticket item purchase, a new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift anything of value this is the news or a message of it so sag some type of news about 
practicality, money, assets, resources, property, accepting a gift, giving a gift, going out on a date, or a commitment. Clarify the page of pentacles for Sagittarius. Clarify the page of pentacles for Sagittarius. Clarify the page of pentacles for Sagittarius. It is clarified with the seven of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you waiting. And in this wait, you're pausing to reflect on you guys' relationship. You're looking at the seeds that were planted. Looking at what has taken root, what has grown, and what it has produced thus far. Trying to figure out whether or not you want to continue to invest. Whether you want to reinvest. You're taking stock of you guys' relationship. Assessing you guys' relationship. But this is also a card of you looking at your coins, your harvest, your bank account. Looking at how much you have and how much you have to invest could be waiting on money. So, Sag, listen, this can be about money here. It could be waiting at, on money, looking at your money. Very well, maybe expecting some money here in a heated discussion or argument. However, Sag, you can tell me you're waiting, contemplating, and debating on whether or not you care to continue to invest or reinvest in this relationship or commitment. Sag, you have the three of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you feeling bad. Really? This is heartbreak. This is pain. This is suffering. This is agony caused by a third party situation. So when I say third party, yes, a romantic third party. But this could also be meddling family members, friends, co-workers, neighbors, anyone being involved in you guys' relationship that shouldn't be, that is causing you heartbreak. Now, Sag, listen, yes, your feelings could be hurt here, but it could also be that there's a third party. Clarify the three of swords for Sagittarius. Clarify the three of swords for Sagittarius. Clarify the three of swords for Sagittarius. It is clarified with this ace of wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is a brand new, passionate, creative endeavor. Now, this can be the spark of a new idea. This can be some type of exciting, passionate communication, exciting, passionate action. But this wand is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. This is a brand new, passionate beginning. So, Sag, listen. Yes, you guys could maybe had a heated discussion or argument and your feelings are hurt. Yes. However, Sag, are you hurt because there was a third party that this person started a passionate new beginning elsewhere? Sag, you have the chariots. Could be dealing with a cancer, but you're determined to move forward confidently, victoriously, successfully ahead. Now, this can speak to travel. This can speak to relocating cities, states, countries. This can speak to moving from one residence to another or simply moving forward and leaving things behind. But you're determined to move forward confidently. So, Sag, listen, could be dealing with a cancer, but you're wanting to make some type of move here. Clarify the chariot for Sagittarius. Clarify the chariot for Sagittarius. Clarify the chariot for Sagittarius. It is clarified with the moon. Could be dealing with a Pisces, but the moon symbolizes secrets or things that are not yet known. It can symbolize moodiness, depression, vivid dreams, deep emotions, intuition, but secrets. So Sag, could be dealing with a Pisces, but you can tell me that, hey, you were in the dark concerning something here. You can tell me that you're using your intuition. However, there may have been a secret. Clarify the moon for Sagittarius. Clarify the moon for Sagittarius. Clarify the moon for Sagittarius. It is clarified with the Four of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces, there is an offer on the table that you're not accepting or rejecting. You're contemplating this offer, but actually you're bored with the offer, thinking of missing the offer. But this is also a card of you contemplating sending an offer, but you fear the offer would be rejected. So Sag, listen, you may have rejected an offer because a secret came out, maybe using your intuition to reject some type of offer, and you're wanting to move forward, Sag. Sag, listen, 
I feel like you're ready to look to see what else is out there or travel because they started a passionate new beginning. Sag, I feel like they started a passionate new beginning elsewhere. They were looking to see what else is out there. Sag, your partner has the magician. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, but your partner is trying to manifest, trying to make something happen. And they have all the tools and resources available to them to manifest whatsoever they will. They have the fire element, the air element, the water element, the earth element, and the ethers. So with great focus and intent, they can manifest. So Sag could be dealing with an Aquarius, but your partner is trying to make something happen. Clarify the magician for Sagittarius's partner. Clarify the magician for Sagittarius's partner. Clarify the magician for Sagittarius's partner. It is clarified with you, Sag, Aries, or Leo, the King of Wands. This king is a very charming, charismatic character, someone who's admired by many. This is a leader, a go-getter, a take charge type of energy, someone who sets out on many objectives and usually accomplishes them with a lot of passion, effort, and energy. So Sag, this is you. Clarify the King of Wands for Sagittarius's partner. Clarify the King of Wands for Sagittarius's partner. What does Sagittarius's partner think of Sag? What does Sagittarius's partner think of Sag? Clarify the King of Wands for Sagittarius's partner. It is clarified with the Two of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you needing to make a decision, but you're in the dark about some things. Some things you just refuse to see, refuse to acknowledge, a lack of information, block communication. So it's hard for you to make an informed decision in this position. But this is also a card of you being closed off, blocked off, not wanting to see, wanting to ignore, wanting to turn a blind eye. So Sag, listen, I ask what does your partner think of you? They may think that you're blocking or you need to make a decision. However, when it comes to you, they may be trying to make a decision or trying to block. Sag. Hmm. Sag, your partner has the fool. Could be dealing with an Aries, but the fool symbolizes to take a leap of faith, take a chance, take a risk, and set out on a brand new journey to do a brand new thing, sight unseen, just throwing caution to the wind and just doing it. So Sag, could be dealing with an Aries, but your partner could tell me, hey, I just want to up and do something. I want to take a leap of faith. I want to set out on a brand new journey. Or your partner saying someone took a risk or a chance in you guys' relationship. Clarify the fool for Sagittarius' partner. Clarify the fool for Sagittarius' partner. Clarify the fool for Sagittarius' partner. It is clarified with the Eight of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is mastering their craft. Perfecting their skills, trades, and abilities. This is your partner throwing themselves into their work. But this can also speak to them being willing to work on it or put in the work. So, Sag, listen, your partner could tell me they want to take a leap of faith here and work things out. However, did this risk or chance that someone took was at work or while they were away at work or something? Goodness, was this at a distance while traveling for work? Sag, your partner has temperance. This is you, Sag, but the universe is cautioning your partner to be patient, to heal, and to remain balanced. That any decision that they make, it needs to be a careful blending of the head and the heart. Now, when we're dealing with temperance, temperance is about healing, harmony, being willing to compromise, but also reconciliation. So, Sag, this is you. Clarify temperance for Sagittarius's partner. Clarify temperance for Sagittarius's partner. What does Sagittarius's partner think of Sag? What does Sagittarius's partner think of Sag? Clarify temperance for Sagittarius's partner. It is clarified with the lovers. Could be dealing with a Gemini, but the lover says, you know, I breathe you in, you breathe me in. We are so magnetically attracted to one another. We cannot get enough of one another. Babe, I need to make a choice. 
Sag, your partner could tell me that you guys have this strong twin flame magnetic pull between you. Yes. However, your partner could tell me that they're trying to be patient here. When we're dealing with the lovers, this can be a partnership with work or business. Maybe trying to be patient with dealing with work or business and not just up and leave or something. However, Sag, does your partner think that you have another other lover? Did something go on with you and this other lover? And so you're moving on. And this partner here thinks that you have another other lover. Let me see. Clarify the lovers. For Sagittarius' partner. Clarify the lovers. For Sagittarius' partner. Clarify the lovers. For Sagittarius' partner. It is clarified with justice. Could be dealing with a Libra. But your partner may be calling for karmic justice, saying, you know what? I'm a good person. I put good out there. I'm just expecting that good to return to me. Or your partner saying someone did me so wrong and so dirty, I'm calling for karmic justice. I want them to get exactly what they deserve. Or we're dealing with something in the justice system. So Sag could be dealing with a Libra. But your partner could tell me that, hey, something isn't fair, something isn't balanced, something isn't just. Your partner could tell me that someone is wanting to come in and right a wrong and bring justice to a situation. Or we're dealing with something in the justice system. Clarify justice for Sagittarius's partner. Clarify justice for Sagittarius's partner. Clarify justice for Sagittarius's partner. It is clarified with the Ten of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is financial success and abundance. This is where two people come together in a long-standing committed relationship, joining together their assets and resources to build something to pass down from generation to generation, creating a legacy. So we're speaking of marriage, commitment, home, family, assets, resources, property, inheritance, legacy. Listen, Sag. Your partner could tell me that you guys have this strong twin flame magnetic pull. And they're going to take you to the justice system. Maybe the justice of the peace having commitment on the brain. Because here's some type of news about commitment here. And you're thinking about it. However, Sag, your partner could tell me that you want to go to the justice system for a legal separation or divorce because interior tens are ending. So it could be an ending to you guys' commitment, marriage, living together situation, family dynamics because there was another other lover. You told me here. Hey, <sighs> Sag. <clears throat> I feel like someone started a passionate new beginning. And it could be while someone was away, maybe away at work or business, okay? Some type of travel. Sag, this is your mid-month, January 2022 reading. You guys, give me feedback. Subscribe, like, comment, and share. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.